What's up guys and welcome to the long awaited desk tour. I've been judging other desk setups on my setup war series so I think it's time for you guys to judge mine by leaving your feedback in the comment section down below. By the way all the products mentioned in this video will be listed down below for anyone that is interested. So with that said let's start from the most important thing on my desk which is Big Red, my custom painted PC that essentially powers TechSource. I did do a video on it so I won't waste too much time but it's basically rocking a 4930k CPU overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz paired with two custom painted 780 ti's in sli and 32 gigabytes of ram packed inside the beautiful nzxt s340 case attached to the pc i have this two-in-one -one micro usb and lightning cable that i use to charge my smartphone speaker wireless mouse and my headphones Whenever I need a micro USB cable, I just pull out the top portion and whenever I need to charge my Apple devices, I just connect it back. It's so much better than having two separate cables. Right next to the PC, I have my iPhone 6 Plus on the anchor stand rocking the Draco 6 case from Draco Design. If you haven't noticed by now, my favorite color combo is red and black, so it was a no-brainer picking up the black and red carbon fiber skins for my iPhone. By the way, these are from dbrand and they have a bunch of other types of skins for smartwatches, consoles, and a bunch of other devices. But I'll to leave a link to their website if you guys want to check them out for yourself. Underneath the monitor is the Anchor Premium Bluetooth speaker which is my personal favorite out of all of the speakers I have ever reviewed on the channel. It's extremely loud, clear and has an amazing bass and I use it to watch movies and listen to music to get into my mood when I'm filming my videos. To the left of the speaker is the Scarlett Studio 2i2 audio interface that I use to record my voiceovers like the one in this video. It's hooked up to the CM25 mic that came with the package and my trusty AT m 50 x headphones. I have the mic hooked up to an extension boom arm to get it off my desk and it's really convenient for me when recording because I can just pull it towards me whenever I need to use it and then push it back when I'm done. It's super flexible so I can raise it and lower it as well as rotate it as much as I want. Also on top of the audio interface I used some 3M tape and attached a Transcend SD card reader for easy access. When I'm done filming on my GH4, I just slap the SD card inside and transfer my file straight to my PC. All the way on the left side is one of the newer additions to my desk setup. This is the HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset that I covered for Cool Tech of September. This is hands down the most comfortable headset I have ever worn. The word cloud in its name is spot on. So these are compatible with PCs, consoles, and practically everything else that has a 3.5mm headphone jack. The headset features 7.1 virtual surround sound and comes with a detachable mic. I use these mainly for gaming but sometimes leave them on while I'm editing and watching movies if I want something more comfortable. The sound output is extremely clear and noticeably louder than my N50X's so I have to keep that in mind while editing the voiceovers. I keep the Cloud 2's on the Thermaltake headphone hanger just because it matches my theme and it's one of the coolest hangers I have ever seen. Speaking of headphone hangers, I have one more attached on the roof of my desk which is holding my M50X's and my Ghost Tech Bluetooth headphones. This is called the Anchor from Elevation Labs and I really like this headphone hanger because I use several headphones every day and I can hide them underneath my desk and keep them off my table which gives more room for other things. I've been using this for the past 3 months now without any problems, in fact it uses the same 3M adhesive tape that you can find on GoPro cameras, so you know that this will stick pretty damn good. I use the Ghost Tech headphones whenever I need to move around a lot or if I'm going places. I mostly use them with my iPhone, but they are a great pair of very light headphones that offers rich sound. It does feature a microphone so I can accept calls as well and it also has a 3.5mm jack that I can use in case it runs out of battery. Now let's take a look at my peripherals. So I'm rocking the Microsoft Sidewinder X4 keyboard and the Logitech MX Master wireless mouse on top of the Xco extended mouse pad. I was never a fan of mechanical keyboards because of the key sounds. It does get pretty annoying when I'm typing constantly which is why I stuck with the X4 keyboard all this time. It's super quiet, the keys are short for quick and easy presses and comes with a wrist rest. I have used many mechanical keyboards in the past and I always find myself coming back to the X4. For the mouse I'm rocking the MX Master from Logitech. This mouse needs no introduction, it's notorious for being one of the best productivity mice in the world and I absolutely love this thing. It's really great for editing but I do use it for gaming sometimes without any problems. Now if I was a hardcore gamer I would most likely use a gaming mouse but for being only casual this works just as well. Last but not least is the extended mouse pad that I recently picked up. I've been using the Corsair extended mouse pad for the longest time but when I saw this one I knew I had to pick it up. It has a pretty cool shape with a red border that complements my color scheme. Now although I'm not a big fan of the Scorpion logo or the text on the mouse pad, the keyboard pretty much covers up most of it anyway so it doesn't really bother me. 
Now onto the monitor. This is the LG 34 inch ultra wide curve monitor that I have hooked up to the awesome Ergotech Freedom Arm. So the story behind this monitor is this. I started off with a triple display setup a few years ago and then moved on to a dual 4K display setup from Samsung which was great. But when LG sent me this 34 inch monitor, I immediately fell in love. Personally, I find that a single ultra wide monitor works best for editing, watching movies and especially gaming. It's just much more immersive and you get no ugly bezels in between. All of your content is right there in front of you and you don't need to move your head from one side to the other with a multi-display setup. The monitor arm I'm using is the Ergotech Freedom Arm. Freedom is damn correct. This thing gives you the option to position your monitor in any way you can think of. You can raise, lower, pivot, turn, and tilt to any degree you like. This thing is incredible. If you guys are looking to get your monitor off your desk for a much cleaner look, then you should definitely check this thing out. Now instead of paying full retail price for this, you guys can actually get it from MassDrop, which is a group buying website. They have a bunch of cool tech products that you can vote on to unlock super low prices, but I'm going to leave a link to the Freedom Arm down below so you guys can request one for yourselves. The LEDs are also a huge part of my desk setup. These are from Friends of Hue and they are wireless. I can control the lights using my smartphone and access pre-configured settings from my notifications tab without having to open the app. It's available for iOS and Android and I'll leave a link to the LED strips and the wireless bridge that you will need to change the colors wirelessly. I've also been getting a bunch of questions regarding my desk. So this is the Vert Desk which stands for Vertical Desk. It's basically a motorized desk and its height can be adjusted by pressing on either of these arrow keys. This desk is probably the most important part of my setup because I use it constantly every single day. I edit for long hours at a time and it's nice to stand up once in a while to stretch the back since sitting down for long hours at a time is bad for the back. There are a lot of adjustable desks out there but the reason why I chose the Vert Desk was because of its huge surface area. This is one of the very few if not the only adjustable desk that has a 72 inch width and a 30 30 inch depth for the tabletop which is big. I mean you can fit my PC, ultra wide monitor and a bunch of other stuff and still have extra room. It's so great that I even use a second one just for my videos. Another thing I keep on my desk is this Game of Thrones coaster. Now this comes in a set of four but since I represent House Targaryen I use the Fireblood coaster. I rest my drinks on it and it protects my desk from getting water stains or scratches. And oh yeah, it's black and red. The chair I use is from Flash Furniture. Now it's no DX Racer, but I find this one extremely comfortable and comes with lumbar support for the lower back. I'm 6'2 and it's kind of hard finding a tall chair to rest my head against until I came across this one. It also comes with armrests and has a red outline that matches my setup. I had this for over 2 years and it hasn't given me any problems, an overall very solid and comfortable office chair. Last but not least, I want to go over my cable management because I think that's extremely important when it comes to any desk setup. My cables were all over the place before and it was atrocious, so I picked up a 6 outlet surge protector from Orico to bring my setup back to life. So they have them in 2, 4, 6 and even 8 outlet variations and these are extremely light. I basically attached some 3M tape on the back and stuck it to the roof of my desk and then proceeded to plug in everything including my PC into the surge protector with some help from cable drops. As an added bonus it comes with 5 smart charging ports which will detect the device that's plugged in and deliver the fastest charging possible. I'm just glad I was able to clean up my cable management tremendously and if your cable management is slacking then this is the answer to your prayers. But like I said I'll leave links to everything in the description section along with the cable drops I used. But yeah that's basically Basically my setup, it's nothing over the top, I like to keep things as clean as possible and only leave the essentials on my desk that I use daily. If you guys liked my setup then make sure to slap the crap out of that like button and if you didn't feel free to dislike and leave me your feedback in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.